Hi there and welcome back to the M5 Stack official channel. I'm Luke and today we're going to be looking at one of the newest products of M5 Stack, the M5 Atom. There are actually two versions of this product, one with simply a button and ESP32 Pico inside, the other has an LED matrix, an IR LED and a 6 axis accelerometer. Well, I know which one I'm more excited about. So let's have a look at the documentation page. Here we can see the typical introduction, photos, and some of the specifications of the device, followed by an easy loader, which is a Windows only program which will flash a basic Arduino program onto the device. Sorry, Mac and Linux users. Below that, we can see a pin map of the peripherals of the device. We're going to need these PIN numbers for later. Down below we have links to the data sheets and a link to the Arduino code in the GitHub. Sorry UIFlow users and MicroPython users, there hasn't been any documentation here due to the rush before the Chinese New Year. But it's actually quite easy to set up in MicroPython, which I'll show you in the later video. For now though, let's click through to the GitHub page. Here we can see a library for the Atom, so let's go ahead and download that first. If we scroll down we can see a nicer close-up of the pin maps for both the light and the regular Atom. Keep scrolling down, oh and what's this? Atom Pixel Tool. Let's download this as well. Sadly again this is only available for Windows users. But don't be disheartened, later on in the video I'll be showing you a way you can scroll text on your Atom without needing a specific operating system. First let's install a library. The settings for the board are exactly the same as the stick C. Just make sure that you've installed the ESP32 board manager files first, which you can see in another of our videos. And then try and run some of the examples from it. Uh oh, seems we have an error. On closer inspection, it seems that the fast LED library is required. Would have been good to include that in a note at the start of the sketch. No problem though, we can easily install that by a quick search in the Manage Libraries tool. The fast LED library works quite well with the M5 Atom, and I'll show you how we can get some nice effects by just changing a few pin numbers in just a moment. First let's try and run our sketch again. This LED set program simply sets a single LED on the matrix to light up a specific color. And we could make a nice little picture by turning on specific LEDs and stating the color we want, such as this nice little smiley face. Let's see what else the examples have to offer. The LED display is supposed to show this image.c file which has been created by the Atom Pixel tool. Unfortunately nothing appears on the screen when the program is uploaded. I wonder what went wrong there. I tried to create some other image files with this nice little Atom Pixel tool and place them in the same folder as the Arduino sketch, then include them in the code. But unfortunately it also doesn't work. Seems like an unfinished example. Looking at the other examples, we can see button control, but unfortunately the MPU6886 example doesn't seem to work. So how can we program it then? For some simple yet stunning LED effects, we can open up some of the fast LED examples, and then all we need to do is just change the data pin to 27, and then set the number of LEDs to 25. All of this is pretty cool, but I'm pretty sure you wanted to show some text scrolling or have some cool little images on the screen. Well this is not too difficult either, with the help of three great libraries made by Adafruit. Let's start to download these. We'll need the Adafruit NeoPixel, Adafruit NeoMatrix, and finally the Adafruit GFX library, which you'll probably already have if you've been using the main M5 stack units. 
Now the Adafruit NeoMetrix library was intended for 8x8 pixel displays, but a quick search turned up this forum post where I found this custom 5x5 LED matrix font which needs to be placed in the Adafruit GFX library folder. You can find the link to the file in my GitHub. Now let's open the matrix test example from the Adafruit NeoMatrix examples. All we need to do here is change a few things. We'll need to change the data pin and then set the matrix to 5 by 5. You'll also need to customize your message. This only works properly if we use capital letters, so make sure that your message is all in uppercase. And there we have it, a nice scrolling message. If you want your message to be longer, all you need to do is change this number here. That's about it for our video today. If you would like to see more projects based on the Atom, and also how to program the Atom in MicroPython, stay tuned for the next video. For now, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if you wish, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye!